everyone it's Jonesy and I just wanted to show you very quickly the number seven the brand is number seven their glycolic peel it's what you can do at home and if like me you can't afford those really expensive pills that are at the salons or the spa I wanted to try something that I could use at home that would be safe and that would work on black girl skin or just skin with any sort of melanin whatsoever. Um, with my skin, I have an oily T-zone. I have dry, very sensitive cheeks. And so I needed something that was going to be able to work with what I have. So this glycolic peel is very gentle and it is for everyone. But I wanted to show you all how it works, how easy it is. And it really does leave my skin feeling really soft. I've used it twice already. You're supposed to use it twice a week for four weeks. So this is my second week and this is my first day of the second week and I wanted to share it with you guys. So it is the number seven gentle glycolic peel. I hope that you can see that. I'm gonna do the hand behind the bottle like all the other cool girls do on YouTube. And so it is the number seven is the brand. I got this from Walgreens. It comes in a box with step one, which is the actual glycolic peel. Step two, which are the neutralizing pads and I hope that you can see that. Number seven, neutralizing pads. This is what you use to neutralize the glycolic peel after it's been on your skin for five minutes. There are 30 pads in the jar. Oh, and the glycolic peel, this is a one ounce bottle. So it comes with this cool little Petri dish and well that's what I call it is a Petri dish. This is what you pump the glycolic peel into. So you're going to use four pumps of the glycolic peel onto the dish. One, two, three, four. Now I'm saying four because that is what it states in the directions that you use four pumps only. It comes with this really cool applicator brush for you to use to apply the glycolic peel. So before I start the glycolic peel, I just need to wash my face and I use Oil of Olay. It is, I, and I don't just use it because it's cheap. <laughs> because Oil of Olay products are not all cheap. But I love the Oil of Olay bar. Um, I have a very oily T-zone as I mentioned and I have dry cheeks. Sometimes I get breakout which you can see here and I have a little hyperpigmentation. And the Oil of Olay bars just work really well for me. So what you wanna do first is you wanna wash your face thoroughly before you do the glycolic peel. Okay, now that my face has been washed and it's dried, we can go ahead and start the glycolic peel. So, according to the directions, you are to place four pumps of step one, the gentle glycolic peel liquid in the dish, which I have already done. Don't know if you can see that because it is clear, but there are four pumps. Four pumps I thought was a really small amount, but actually it covers your entire face. So in the directions, you want to apply using the brush that they provide. Now I, I rinse this brush after every use. I don't leave it with the peel on it. So it's nice and dry and clean. So you just dip the brush into the peel and apply. I'm gonna set my little handy dandy timer here for five minutes and just wait. You do not wanna leave it on according to the directions longer than five minutes. Also, if you do have really, really sensitive dry skin, I would say test this out. Test yourself first, maybe on the inside of your arm, which is a little bit more sensitive, and then use the glycolic peel. So we are done with step number one, and then in five minutes when the timer's up, we're gonna move to step number two. What do you do for five minutes? You get on Instagram. What do you do for five minutes? You get on Instagram. What do you do for five minutes? You get on Instagram. So it has been five minutes and this is what the peel looks like. Totally clear. You can just see the shine from it on my face. It's been on for five minutes. Step two, there's 30 of the neutralizing pads. Number seven, neutralizing glycolic peel pads. So they're really soft and you just take it out. It has its own little jazz that it's sitting in and you grab one of the neutralizing pads 
And what you want to do is, according to the directions, use the pad on your face in the way that you applied the glycolic peel. I always start with my, I don't know the exact directions I went, I mean, come on. But I know that I always start with my forehead and end up going down and around to my cheeks and my nose. Just looks like this you can just see where it took off the peel and it's on the pad now and then you just throw this away and you rinse your face with warm water um i really like this peel sorry <laughs> i really like this peel i think it's really great and i love that it's a peel that can be used on black girl skin and have really great results so here's what i do after the peel as part of the Walgreens sale, where it had the number seven items on sale, and it was buy one, get one 50% off. Looks so weird without eyebrows. <laughs> I got the number seven perfecting serum. So it's the Protect, the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. Again, it's hypoallergenic. That's another thing that I love about the number seven products is that they're hypoallergenic. It does not make your face oily, it literally absorbs right into your skin and you don't even feel it and it's so soft it feels like butter so i really love it let me show you guys what it looks like so i just use like a pump and a half and this is what it looks like and this is also a 30 ounce bottle i've been using it for about two weeks now and i love it so i just take it warm the product up um I used to work in skincare, so it's, we have this thing about warming the product up because it really does help to absorb, just like when we warm our conditioner up in our hair, right, when we deep condition. And then I just apply it everywhere. So I apply it cheeks, forehead, I even get a little under the eye because I have dark circles that come so easily. Um, and I apply it under my chin and on my neck. You don't have to use the number seven serum. This is just something that I really thought would be really great for me. Um, I used serums in the past and I had great results with them, but I felt like I couldn't apply anything else on top and I actually need moisturizer on top of this because my skin is very dry here and here. So I use, I use a couple different moisturizers. Right now I'm finishing up the Pure Tropics exotic face moisturizer it gets the job done and it is moisturizing so i just use a bit of this probably like less than a dime size amount warm up the product put it over my face under my chin neck decolletage and just rub that in. So I like to use a heavier moisturizer at night, not only because I know it's gonna get absorbed into my pillowcase, but during the day my face has been outside and there's been, you know, smog and traffic. It's LA, there's all kind of crap everywhere. So I really want to put on a heavy moisturizer to protect my skin at night. So for my nighttime under my eyes, I actually use vitamin E oil. During the day, I use the Pore Perfect Benefit Eye Cream, which I could show you if it was close to me, but it is, okay. So during the day, I use It's Potent Eye Benefit Cream. So this is by Benefit Cosmetics. Um, it's very moisturizing. It doesn't do much for dark circles, for me at least, and I get dark circles very easily. So I use this during the day. But at night, I use vitamin E oil underneath my eyes. Um, vitamin E oil is really great for dark circles. Literally, all you need is one tiny little pump of it, and I go and I just go into the corner and I go around my brow bone. Um, I get dark under my eyes very easily, and vitamin E just really helps with darkness under your eyes. So that's the nighttime routine, everyone. Super easy, and I really like the glycolic peel. So like I said, make sure that you read the directions thoroughly. I am not a dermatologist, but these are things that have worked for me. I have the oily T-zone, 
and I have sensitive dry cheeks and chin so when I break out that's where I break out and I needed something that was gonna slosh off all that dead skin and I really feel like the number seven glycolic peel is doing that um, this is not a sponsored post this is just a product that I researched I found and it's worked for me and I really bleh, I really wanted to share it because I think it'll work for you as well so let me know how you feel let me know if you like it, if you've tried it, how it worked for you, if it didn't work for you, I would really love to know. And give me some tips. If you have any other products that helps with, you know, acne, hyper, hyperpigmentation, um, oily T-zone, uh, dark circles, whatever it is, girls, please share. I love learning from you all and I think you're all so beautiful and so amazing. And thank you so much for watching. If you wanna head over to my blog, to live in dateinla.co, feel free to do so. There's so much more over there. That's where I put everything. So if you wanna head over there, check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing, wonderful, blessed night. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Thank you. Bye.